Okay, hey guys, I am taking this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I am making a base for the white eyeshadow that I'm going to be using and I'm just blending that out. I already primed my eyes, I use the NYX Shadow Base for all over my eye. Now I'm going in with the Tartlet and Bloom palette and I'm taking that skin tone shade and I'm blending that over my crease and now I'm taking that slightly darker brown and I'm placing that directly into my crease I'm going to start to shape the cut crease But as you guys can see on the other eye, I am going to darken it. So I'm just taking this color to sketch out the general shape. I'm taking that big fluffy blending brush to blend it out. Now I'm going in with this white shade and I'm going to pack that onto my lid. Now I'm going to take this dark brown and start to precisely sketch out the cut crease. Now this is my first time doing a cut crease so I'm not an expert on it. And I don't have much space for a lid so my cut crease is lower than I would like it to be. But every eye shape is different. It also helps to use tape so the cut crease can be sharp. I'm taking that small blending brush and I'm taking that even darker brown in the palette, the darkest shade in the palette, and I'm carving out my crease even more. Now if you guys have never done a cut crease before, you are not supposed to blend it too too much. So that's why the white and the black or dark brown is slightly separated. Now I am blending it a little bit so it can seamlessly go into each shade. But I don't want to fully blend it so the crease will be washed out. We want the crease to be predominant. Now I'm going back in with that white shade to build it back up for more intensity and then I'm going back in with that dark brown to carve out my cut crease even more. Like I said, you don't want to really blend the two colors together but you want to blend it enough that it is seamless. I'm taking that brown shade again. Now I'm checking to see if the eyes are identical. I'm going in with that shade under the white for a brow bone highlight. I don't want the brow bone to be too too light because I do have a white lid. So I'm actually mixing the white and then the beige color under it. Now I am taking my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and I am making my wing. For those of you that don't know of the burlesque time period, their wings were fairly large and dramatic. Most women that did do their makeup in burlesque. And I actually took the tape off because if you're not a beginner, you know how to do your own wing. If you are a beginner, I would recommend leaving the tape on. 
as a guide that the tape is actually scratching my skin so I just took it off. Now I'm lining up my wing where my eyeshadow stops as you guys can see. You want your wing to be lined up with the cut crease. Now oh, here I'm just perfecting my wing. Now I'm applying mascara and I also added contacts. The reason why I added blue contacts is because I wanted to go for a look that Christina Aguilera was wearing in the actual movie in the scene that she was singing down to you in the green dress that was the look I was going for I did change it up a little bit because I do smoke out my lash line and my um, face makeup is a little bit different than the time period but overall that's the look I was going for so I'm taking this peach color my flash palette and I'm color correcting Now this is just a general step for when I'm applying foundation. This isn't a step for the makeup look, it's just a general step for when I'm applying, before I'm applying my foundation. Now I'm taking my foundation, and this foundation is a little bit too dark for me, but at the end of the video, it definitely pulls together, it wasn't too too bad. As you guys can see, it is very dark on camera. It's not as dark in person, but it is a little bit too dark, but I tried to make it work. Now I'm taking my concealer, and I'm also mixing it with the foundation because the concealer is a little bit too light. Now I'm mixing that and I'm applying that under my eyes. and on the rest of the highlighted areas of my face. Down my nose and make it go.
I was flinching up under my eyes. And I am using my first one to lightly set the rest of my face. Like I said, I'm not going to do it, but I do want to modify my face. And I didn't want to take a face powder because I didn't, didn't want to make my foundation any darker than what I already did. And then I can add something to look more normal and not so bad like that. Part of my routine, I don't know for sure if back in the day they contoured their face. I know that they were really big on blush. So I'm just adding this bronzer just to add some sh shimmer to my face and some color. Now I did skip the blush step and the highlighting step, but I did go pretty intense with my blush because they tend to wear a lot of blush and I added my highlighter already and I also added my lip liner. Now I'm taking this NARS liquid lipstick, it is not matte, it's actually glossy and I'm applying that because glossy lips were the trend back then. Thank you guys so much for watching.